<laughs> so yeah we're here kind of at the yard we're still a little ways um east of it like of the throat but they are calling symbols here which is fucking awesome and this is it this is the train we're looking for but we'll just have to catch it tomorrow but we're gonna move further into the yard and uh yeah we'll be uh, probably be able to get on it maybe in the middle of the night before it takes off or when it's working in the morning we will see but it's like they're calling the symbol so that's what's awesome yeah because there's only like three departures well at least like long haul departures like you got trains that are going to Toronto and uh there's a train to Sarnia and then a train to basically Gary Indiana and that's what this is it's the E251 and uh so yeah the plan is to get that the 251 but we may get off in Battle Creek because it goes Detroit to Lansing Battle Creek and then from Battle Creek all the way to uh basically Gary Indiana so um yeah that's the plan this would be awesome yeah it's the old original Grand Trunk Grand Trunk and Western line so it'd be really neat to get to ride this But yeah, awesome. Got high hopes now. But uh, yeah, we will see you when we get to like an actual spot where we're gonna be waiting and just chilling. But luckily there's a grocery store not too far from us where we're at right now. So that's the plan. We we're gonna walk down there, grab some grub, maybe charge some shit for a little bit. But then, you know, this evening, make our way to the bush uh, about mid yard and wait for this bad dog. All right, well, see ya. Well, we made it into the yard. This is where we're gonna be hanging out at. But look, see that hole right there? Virginia's already over here doing, being a bad dog. She already chased the deer out of that home right there. She's crazy, it's like water. But the sun is setting, it's a beautiful day. Um, yeah so we'll catch our train in the morning but literally the tracks are right there you probably see the otter x but we're gonna hang out right here thank you everybody for like their birthday wishes and the helping us out on my birthday to get beers and go to dinner and all that was fun We've been drunk the last three days, pretty much since my birthday. But where we're at right now, there's no beer stores. So, whatever. We can't get beer till Battle Creek and we weren't gonna walk another like three miles back to a Kroger's to get beer. But. Yep. All right. So we made it on. We're on a high wall waiting to leave Detroit. Don't know if we're heading to Chicago or if we are going to Port Huron. Port Huron. So we'll find out when we leave here which direction we're going. So wish us luck. I guess it doesn't really matter either or places will work because then we could backtrack and get back to Chicago but all right and it's five in the morning so the sun will be rising here shortly and we'll be able to record during the day Bye. that's where we were hanging out underneath that billboard
right, so we caught a wrong train, a local going to what towards Oakwood. This is Brian, one of our subscribers, who came and rescued us for the day, picked us up in his truck because it's Memorial Day weekend, so buses aren't running. We ended up like 20 miles from wherever we were hanging out at, but took us to the river, Virginia, went swimming. Huh. Good time in that water. Yeah, she did. He's showing us around Detroit. Oh yeah. His next of the woods. But nice meeting y'all. Yeah, nice meeting you too. But Monkey. Hey, Bob. Stay close. Just stay right here with me. So, yeah. This is attempt number two. I think we've learned from our past mistakes. Hopefully, with any luck. And, uh... Yet... Yeah. I don't know, I wonder if the, uh... It's the 358, that's the Toronto train. Um, or it might be 385. I think that's what it is. 385. It's one of those combos of number 85, 58. But I know it's one of them. Um, but yeah, it, at least yesterday that's when he came out. But who knows? It could be all weird now because it is Memorial Day. Um, but yeah, if he comes out here soon we're gonna get on it while we can but other than that we're gonna have to wait till the like midday tomorrow because yeah we jumped on that that one and um it definitely was the uh ns handoff which was annoying yeah man like, like we haven't had man we haven't done something like that in so long it was just basically being impatient um because since we've been here they've been calling symbols on you know actual road trains and this train they didn't and it, it's not like it had just like yard dogs or you know small little four axle units on it it had you know two road powers on it and it was mixed it was, it's a completely mixed looking train but uh we went ahead and went for it but it um the crew was called for at 4 a.m. and well, we learned eventually that as a local handoff. But hey, you know, you live and you learn. Not a bad place to be hanging out though, I think. Old Grand Trunk fucking yard, kind of cool. And to the line uh, that we rode up, man, that's what's even cooler. Like the, it's literally the old electrified from above and we learned that today too that a, like uh ford you know the motor company had built that shit you know i don't even know when but uh i also read too that people referred to that that line as the dirty eye come on bub let's go which was cool so yeah like yeah you already seen that so but still it, it's pretty neat and luckily we got saved by literally a uh a viewer a subscriber eh, brian dude that dude's eh, so cool but uh yeah once again thank you dude to give us a lift down here because the buses ain't running uh here on the holiday so but, uh, yeah all these little trails are just deer trails it's not like people riding trains but yeah, hopefully, uh, I don't know. It's not a big deal if we gotta wait till um, tomorrow or whatever. But yeah, if, uh, like I said, the, the Toronto train comes out, we're just gonna go ahead and grab it and just get off in Port Huron. And deal with it from there. So we'll see everybody. <laughs> So yeah, we finally fucking made it. We got lucky. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, this is our uh, 251 E251, and we got really lucky that we had a high wall right here. Uh, and there is no other ride to bring here. But yeah, we're and a gondola building. I think we should be a, getting close to about done and be out of here. I think we'll be bailing off in Battle Creek probably. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll kick on the camera when we're um, I know leaving town. I think we go through some pretty cool junctions. We don't do that same route that we messed up on. Um, oh, fuck it's hot. Um, but yeah, it will should be pretty neat. But thank you, Brian. Good looking out. I know like you were supposed to come right now to come meet up with us to bring us supplies and shit, but hell yeah. Good looking out for yesterday. Yeah, dude, it was a lot of fun. Great meeting you. Going to the river and hanging out in AC and shit. Hell yeah, good looking out. Virginia enjoyed the, the river. We'll but, definitely be coming back through. Yeah, we'll see you next time, man. Alrighty.
here in the grass. Train was coming at us when we were dirty face, and you know what happens when you ride dirty face. The engineers and conductors see your ass, and then they call you in. All right. There's our ride right there. The train is happy though. Yeah, it was pretty fucking hot on there, dude. We're almost at the plant. So. Yeah. So now, guess what? It's hitchhiking time. Oh, we didn't get caught. So yeah. So they, the conductor called him dispatch saying, hey, pretty much like, hey, someone's sleeping on our train. And the conductor's like, I'll go back there and tell them, like, yo, pretty much get off. And they're all like, no, we'll just send the cops. And then we just got the fuck off and started walking. And then we seen the cops come and the cops showed up. But we didn't talk to them, so... We're just taking a break right now because it's fucking human as fuck. But, alright. See you later. So, we're getting up. We're still here in this little town called Holly. But, it was at least nice this morning. The, uh, got woken up because we ended up having to come up here on the gazebo to sleep this morning so it started raining but um we got woken up and it's like Ugh. we have a dead sleep thought it was the cops but it was the fire department or ambulance or something like yeah, that ambulance. ambulance and they were like just like hey you guys all right like yeah it's like passing through town man uh sleeping he's like oh all right somebody called in and was just wanting us to check up on you guys he's like yeah you guys are good don't worry like you're all right the the cops ain't gonna come bother you or nothing and yes yeah, so everything was all good so we we're getting up drinking coffee and now we gotta hitchhike up the flint so thanks for watching that's a bunch of train footage but we didn't really make it very far but <laughs> the way it goes i guess um but yeah, we're gonna try catching out of Flint. We're gonna give it like a day or maybe two trying to get out of there. And if it don't work, we're just gonna have to catch a Greyhound over to Battle Creek, which, eh, whatever. It's gonna be the first time and last time you'll ever hear those words out of our mouth. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, we haven't had to do that in a long time. Or even do the, or even hitchhike, really. Well, it's sweet water. Well, yeah, that don't count. That's, that's different. Whatever. <laughs> But uh, it's pretty cheap though to get from Flint to Battle Creek, so. It'll be cheaper getting on Greyhound than to buy beer and smokes. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Rather, and wait for a train for a few days. Yeah, it'll be cheaper than sitting yeah, for three days waiting for a hey, damn train. Hey, look Let's go, Virginia. But, uh, close. all right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in Battle Creek, I guess. Or Flint, if we get on train. Uh, all right, Virginia. You know what you're going on. I know you want it so bad.